Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. A Bellevue child care facility wants to cater to all children, including those with special needs. The woman behind the center, still in the works, says many parents with kids who have special needs may have to take their children far away, pay more, or stay home with them. Reporter John Kipper tells us she's looking to give those parents another option after her experience with her son. Jenny, any parent in the metro or even around the country will tell you the cost of child care is a burden. It was even tougher for Angela and Jonathan Lumen of Bellevue, who did not know what to do when they had their son in 2014. When Joshua Lumen was born, his parents found out firsthand just how hard it was to find child care for him. He was born with Down syndrome and had other complications, which included nine surgeries. When his mom, Angela, looked for a daycare that could meet his needs, there was only one option in the metro, and it was too far away. They didn't know what to do. We were a two-income family, and um, losing one income wasn't really an option. They eventually got lucky and found an option that worked okay for Joshua. But for moms like Jennifer Peters, whose son has a rare genetic disorder, the lack of childcare gave her no choice but to be a stay-at-home mom. I was offered a job and I was not able to line up childcare in order to make that possible, so was was forced to stay home. But the two women, led by women, are looking to give families that have kids with special needs more options. Currently, they're in the fundraising stage for High Hopes Child Care, a facility that would take in kids with intellectual disabilities and kids that don't have them. She says there's a huge need for it in Sarpy County. Within the special needs community, there's a lot of understanding of what this need is, and I think it's just something that families that don't have these challenges just don't think about. They hope to put the facility just off Highway 370, between Bellevue, Papillion, and even as far as Plattsmouth, taking in kids that are either too far away from a daycare that fits their needs, or kids and families that can't afford it now. It can be as much as $100 a day for child care for a child with special needs. We don't feel that it's appropriate that a parent who has a child with special needs be charged more for child care than any other parent. Now this proposed facility would have a nurse on staff and also find a way for the kids to go to specialists during the day instead of parents taking them after work. They say doctors may come to the facility themselves or they'll bust the kids over to the doctors. Reporting in the studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now. The group is planning a fundraiser at Bellevue West High School in April. The details are on our website.